staking facilities and in this video I would like to quickly run you through the process of how you can claim your dots using the Polkadot browser extension. Um, rest assured I will share all the links that you need in the description down below and yeah if you have any question afterwards I will also link our telegram and our email so you can directly reach out to us but you can obviously also comment um, under this video. Okay so uh, let's get started so first um, you need to visit the website claims.polkadot.network as you see above here and then you already see a number of different options that you have to claim your um, dots with. Uh, for this video we will uh, focus on the polkadot.js browser plugin. So what you need, you need the browser plugin installed on your computer and you need to know the Ethereum address that you used um, to, to get your uh, dot tokens with. Um, so in the first step, if you have more Ether addresses and you're not sure anymore which one you used back then, you can um, use this website here by Polkadot to check if this Ethereum address is eligible for a claim. Um, I'm using Metamask as my go-to wallet, so go to Metamask, you copy the Ethereum address that you think is eligible, paste it in here, and then it shows you your claim status. You have a claim, please proceed with the next step. So I already know now, okay, this is the Ether address that I used and this uh, is the Ether address that I need to claim my DOT tokens. Okay, in a step two, you need to generate a Polkadot address. Um, for that, we have four different options, as already mentioned, the Polkadot browser plugin, the subkey, the subkey Polkadot.js, or Coinbase Custody. Again, we will focus um, on the Polkadot browser plugin as, as stated by Polkadot. It provides a reasonable balance of security and usability. Um, the website does a really good job of running you through the process of how you can set up this plugin or any of the other options. So we won't spend too much time here. Um, we just go quickly through it. So you download it um, either for Firefox or Chrome or even Brave if you want. Um, set it all up and create a new account. And here it's very important um, that when you do so, that you write this seed, fr seed phrase down on a piece of paper and that you store this piece of paper safely because whoever has access to the seed phrase um, has access to your funds. So it's really important that you store this safely. Um, once you did, did this, you can name your account any way you want it, um, set up a password for it, repeat the password, and then you're all good to go. Now, what's important here um, is that you already can change the display of your setup, uh, of your of your address, so that it um, fits to the Polkadot mainnet. And to do so, you click on the plugin, which you see here. It's a little orange P in your browser bar, and click the settings icon. And then here, where you see default, you click that, and then go to Polkadot Live. And now you see that it will slightly change the way your address is displayed down below here. It should start with a one. So make sure to do that because later on you need it, you need it in this format. Then you can close the um, plugin and move on. Here they explain you how to do it. Okay, now step three is the most important step. That's the step where you can claim your dots. Uh, currently, they only show you the option with my crypto, so we will go ahead and use my crypto as well. I already opened it in a different tab, as you can see here. Um, you can either download it and do it locally or do it via the browser. In this video, I will do it via the browser and tell it to connect with MetaMask because I'm using MetaMask. If you use a ledger or anything else, you have to choose the regarding option. Hit connect to MetaMask and there we go. This is the Ethereum address I checked beforehand. And now in order to um, interact with the contract, um, in the browser version, you need to go to tools and then interact with contract. Um, hit this button and then you, you see this, this field. If you use the um, local version, it looks a little bit different. It has a sidebar and then you need to hit, you need to hit contracts and go from there. Um, in this contract um, window, you need to select, select custom under select existing contract. And here in the ABI section, you can, you can copy this here, the input here. Just hit the copy button, which is super handy. 
go back, paste it in. And then for contract address, you also go back to the Polkadot website and then copy the address. Just hit copy, they make it really smooth for you. Copy that in here. Double check quickly. 5907, 5907, 0x82CB, 0x2CB. Okay. And then down here, you can hit access and then you can select a function and as you already guessed we want to claim so you select claim oh i think i selected the wrong one. claimed claim here it is okay and then you need to paste in the ether address which you can copy out of metamask or wherever you stored it and this is the one punch it in here Okay, and then here's a little bit tricky. Um, remember that I told you to change the way your Polkadot address is um, displayed, and that's where you need that. So you go back to the Polkadot website, continue. Yeah, this tells you the ether address where to paste it in. And then you need to paste in the Polkadot address in a yet another format. So you go back to the Polkadot plugin up here, you copy your address by either clicking this copy icon, copy to clipboard icon here, or you can cl click this symbol here. This will copy your address to your clipboard, and then you enter it in here. And then you see the decoded public key down below, which you need to copy and paste to my crypto in here. Let's check that we do all the steps. Yes. Yes. And then you need to send and sign a transaction. Ultimately, depends um, uh, on the way you store, you interact with Ethereum. Um, I'm using MetaMask, so I'm choosing MetaMask over here, which will pop up MetaMask, connect to MetaMask. Do it again. Okay, there we are. And as a gas limit, I think they also suggest a gas limit that you should choose 200,000. So let's go, oops, let's go with that. You paste it in here. Oh, it's the minimum that let's go with 200. Uncheck. Ah, yeah, you need to uncheck this box up here. So uncheck it and then you can paste it in. Hit the next step. Okay. And then you just click. What's really cool here, it also shows you the price that this transaction will, will cost you. And you hit write. And it will generate the transaction. Generate the transaction. Send the transaction. Okay, then you see here the overview from two and how much it will cost you in ETH and also dollars. Then you hit send. Now you need to confirm the transaction. If you're using Ledger, you need to con confirm it on your Ledger. If you use somewhere, some other program you need to, or wallet, you need to do it on the other wallet. Let's check here. Okay, seems right. Yep, confirm. All right, your transaction, oops, sorry. Broadcast to the network, you can also, if you want, view an Ether scan, status of your transaction. See it's still pending. Let's go over to the Polkadot side, sending the transaction, verifying your claim. Okay, we're almost at the end. And we need to wait for the transaction to be confirmed. And then we can check if our claim was successful. You can reload Ether scan. Still pending. You can already also copy your Polkadot address, this one here. Paste it in here. Okay, 
It's probably still pending. Yes. This might take a while. Hang in there. So sorry for this little cut, but unfortunately yesterday when we were doing the video, the computer crashed. Uh, we had some issues to get it back running. So I'm finishing off this video on a different computer, um, which is totally fine because uh, we were almost done with the process anyway. So let me explain the last and final step to you. And that is basically only as soon as the transaction um, is confirmed and went through, um, you basically only have to go scroll down to step four in order to verify your claim and paste in your Polkadot address. And then you see it nicely animated if your claim was successful. You can see all the information down here. Um, as of now, May 19th, you cannot really do anything with your dots. Um, this is just to show you, okay, your claim was successful and as soon as the Web3 Foundation um, initiated initiates phase one of the Polkadot launch, um, you will be able to um, use those um, dots to signal your intent to nominate or even validate if you want. Um, how exactly this whole uh, launch process will unfold um, is um, written in a nice uh, blog post that we did. It's linked down below. Feel free to check it out. Um, other than that, that's it from my side. I hope this video helped. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or reach out to us via Telegram, email, um, Twitter, any channel, channel that um, fits best for you. And I see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.